Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fish Fry Podcast. I'm your dad host, Bobby. And I'm Oliver. And today, we are talking Fish's 2000 release. Came out after Farmhouse, and it's the Sicket Disc. What's your first thoughts, Oliver? Uh, the picture. It's... Yeah. I've never... Uh, first of all, I... Actually, first time I... Like, we did the Sicket Disc, I was like... What album do you talk about? Is this a live album? <laughs> and I was like, because I've never heard of it. Yep. And so, I mean, Undermine, I've only heard it like once, but I forgot it. But um, Sick It Disc, I'm like, uh, okay. And then whenever I see it on Apple Music, I'm like, oh, okay, it's that one. Yeah. Uh, but then, <clears throat> uh, it like the picture, it looks Weird. cool. It looks cool. Abandoned. Yeah. Like an old wrecked car. Which is actual. Yeah, which is in an actual picture. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't know if it's staged or if that's something that a photographer or someone found and decided to use, but it's definitely an interesting picture, especially considering that they're currently, when this album was released, on a two year hiatus where they weren't playing as fish. Okay. So it's interesting. So it's kind of like. It's interesting. It's a wrecked car or an abandoned car, you know. So what's cool about this is, is it's their eighth studio album. And these, this whole album is made from jams that were recorded when they were making Stu uh, Story of the Ghost two years earlier. Oh, that's cool. So what they did was they went back <clears throat> to all those recordings and pulled out jams and pieces of jams to use to make the Sicket Disc. That's cool. Yeah. So, but really, they released a new album, but it's two years old material. The question I'm asking is, how do you do that? Like, you, that's actually weird. But what do you mean? Like, how do you, like, take pieces of jams and, mm -hmm. like, put it into a whole different song? That's, like, cool how well, they I, do that. Yeah, I don't know, but, like, what's the use is, like, 11 minutes long. Yeah. So, it's, like, a long jam. And they've played that several times. I actually just played it, like... I'm surprised. A uh, week ago. Yeah. When well, we were recording this. Well, I'm surprised uh, so far what we've been through. Like, you know, uh, our first episode, Junta. Mm -hmm. uh, what always surprises me, because like the other albums that we had uh, and like we went over, they've always had like a name, like the Sicket Disc. It doesn't have a song named the Sicket Disc. Sure. And it's only like in those two albums so far that we've been over, and every one else has has like, a title track, or yeah, at least, or at least a part of a title sure. track, like Ghost. Yeah, so let's just run down the set, uh, not the set list, the track listing. Yeah. My left toe. The name is Slick. What's the use? Fish bass, quadraphonic toppling, the happy whip and dung song, insects, title track, and Albert. <clears throat> it is interesting because the Sicket Disc doesn't have a title track, like what you're yeah. about, but it does have title track title as track, yeah. a track. What if one day, like in the future, they rename it and put it as like... The Sicket Disc? Sick, Sicket yeah. Disc? Yeah, it'd be interesting. Well, Sicket is actually uh, the guy who was engineering, who like was uh, controlling the volume and like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that. The engineer, he, his name was John Sicket. Oh, that makes more sense now. So they called it the Sicket Disc because he was the engineer that was responsible for the recording. Yeah. So it makes a little more sense. Uh, like, uh, the, I think it was, no, it was yesterday. Um, you told me to do, or like, listen to the Sicket Disc. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever I see, saw the Happy Whip and Dung song, I was like, I've seen <laughs> Dung before. Like, I've, I've, yeah. I've heard the one... Word dung, and then I thought of a dung beetle, and I was like, yeah. Same okay. Thing. <laughs> Same thing. And it just made me laugh for a little bit, and then I clicked on it, and I was like, and it sounded like I liked it a little bit. Yeah, it's an interesting song. Yeah. I think. And insects match with it, sort of. Yeah, it, it sounds like yeah. insects. I. This is not an album that I would just like. Throw out to a random person. Yes, for sure. I would not give this to anybody until they've been yeah. listening to Fish for quite a while. Yeah. First of all. 
Second of all, it's not an album that I would just put on to listen to. Yeah, I know. Like, it's over, like, like those two albums. What two albums? Uh, Undermine and Sick It Disc. Mm, okay. Those are, like, more of the, like, lower side that you'd listen think so? to. Like, Lawn Boy. Here's just a list that I think. Okay. Lawn Boy, uh, Junta. Okay. Um... Undermine, Sick at Disc. Okay. Uh, and there's one more, Hoist. Oh. Those are ones you wouldn't listen to very often? Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Like, well, I mean, um, <coughs> if I asked, ask Alexa, I don't want her to go off. And, and I say, uh, play Fish. She'd go, <coughs> the first thing I she'd play, she'd uh, say, like, Okay, playing fish, and then always it do always like if I could, and I was like, hmm, interesting. Oh, that's like it always does it. It's that's like, interesting. Huh? So whatever the devices play that that song, yeah. play that fish as a playlist, yeah. it does if I could. Yeah. Huh. It's weird. It is weird. So this one, because I'm not going to put it on just like on a random day and just listen to it. I will go back and listen to like a certain track. Mm -hmm. And for me, which is going to be my number one pick, what's the use? Yeah. I think. It's good. Yeah. I think it's one of the most like fully formed tracks on the album. And I do know they've played it several times. Like, like I said, just like a week ago when we were recording this. Actually? Like actually? Uh Uh-huh. They played it. That's surprising. Last Saturday, yeah. Oh, because, like, we're going over sick at Disney. Yeah, they played That's it last cool. Saturday. When I, when I saw it <laughs> pop up in the set list, I was like, hey, we're talking about that album. Yay. And so... They just knew it. They knew we were going to record this, so they played it for us. So I think, for me, it's going to be that one. What's your number one pick? Uh, surprisingly, I actually like that one, too. What's the use? Because, like, yeah. Yeah. It has more of that 2001 theme in it. it. Yes. Like, and it brings me back to the show whenever they played 2001. Mm-hmm. And it, I, like, gen, I was, like, getting to, like, the middle, and then I like that, like, keyboard oh, thing yeah. that Paige does. Like, I was, like, sort of skipping toward the middle, because that's usually where they jam. Mm-hmm. Well, this whole thing. Actually, the whole thing's a jam. But, yeah. like, whenever they get to the good jam. Yeah. And so I just, like, I'm, like, ooh, whoa, I like yeah. this. And I'm, like... But that reminds me of 2001. It does. I it know. also reminds me of Wingsuit. Oh, The drums yeah. remind me of Wingsuit. Yeah. And the keyboard reminds me of 2001. Yeah, I, I hear that. And so does the guitar. The guitar. But the bass on what's the know, it, is... It sounds like a... I don't, I don't know what it sounds It's right kind of like. like a eerie kind of yeah. march. Because it's just kind of like... Boom, boom, boom. You know, it's kind of like... Yeah. But I, it's, it's it's my favorite. Cool. It's my favorite of the album. Yeah. What's your number two pick? Uh, I like title track. Mm-hmm. Even though it's like fifty-seven seconds. Yeah, if it's I had to short. be exact, uh, but I think it's fifty-second seven seconds. It's one minute. Oh, Man, you're too close. That's pretty close. Uh, but uh, it's one minute. But I just like how the bass goes. Yeah, in interesting, yeah. Like, because at first I was like, is this from Mike's band? Because, like, the bass was, like, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, it was, like, way louder than... Like, way more noticeable yep. than the drums out of all that. Okay. Uh, for me. Yeah. Uh, so I like title track okay. or, as my number two. And my number two pick is My Left Toe. <laughs> I like it. I almost went with... Um, quadraphonic toppling. I almost went with that one. But just listening back through it, my left toe is the one that kind of sticks out to me as mm. the better song. But, you know, it's it's definitely one of their weirder albums. Okay. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's just, it's it's weird, it's different. They created, it's I don't know. It's more like fish. Yeah, it is, I agree. It is more like fish. I think that's a fair assumption. I I don't know if they did this just to have something else to put out to hopefully like, you know. Would you like this? Like keep their fans like happy while they're on a break? Yeah, or like if, 
Or when like we're they're heading to work and they're just like, I want to listen to Fish Sick It album, yeah. and then the, it pops up my love tone and you're like, oh. Yeah, I don't know. I like the name, and uh, the Happy Whip and Dung song sounds like Fish too and Albert. Yeah, Albert. It's it's it, it's weird because you can hear things that they get into in other jams in this album, but it's just not like, it's not my favorite at all. Yeah. And it's not one that I'll just like go back to. Now I'll go back and listen to What's the Use, you know, and enjoy that one. It, uh, it feels yeah. very, like you said, 2001, it feels spacey. Yeah. If, like, if they played this whole, like usually they don't play this whole album, like right. whole albums. But you know how we're on the, like, I don't know. But uh, we, like, talked about, like, how, uh, like, they played this, they jumped out and played the whole album. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, but uh, they, like, jump out and hopefully, like, did what they did like fish I can't be more specific but um uh like if they played did that then that would have been like more space and then went to or like that as the second set yeah. of the show that they played since the it, space theme but I liked all the songs there yeah I think it yeah it's it's not one of my favorites I'm not gonna hand it to a brand new fan yeah and I'm probably, like I said, not going to listen to it very much. Yeah. So, what is your favorite thing about the whole album, just in general? Uh, A, uh... Like, I, yeah. I know what songs you like, but I'm saying, like, what is your favorite, like, yeah, part of it? Is it... A, I like how it's space. Uh, two, <clears throat> B, uh... I like to and be. <laughs> I like how it's like fun, but I would not hand it out to a new one yeah, unless yeah. like a new fish. I bag. think it's cool to hear them using new sounds and new rhythms and new tone for their, you know, instruments and stuff like that. I think that's very interesting. Mm-hmm. But overall, not a fan. Yeah. So what are we talking about in two weeks, Oliver? Uh, I already went over it. It's called The Round Room. Round Room. I thought room. it was under mine first. Yeah, no. Round Room, I haven't actually listened to it. Uh, yeah. But I've only listened to it for a, f- a few times. Wait, it has ways on there? It does. Oh, I've never. So, I didn't know that. It's, it's a really, really good album. We'll listen to it, like I said, a time or two before, but we're going to talk about it. So if you want to listen with us, we're listening to Round Room, and then we'll talk about it back here in two weeks. Uh, make sure you listen, rate, and subscribe. Follow us on all the social medias. We are everywhere. Fish Fry Pod. Oh, everything's PHs. And what else? Come and surrender to the flow with us.